Yeah, hi. Uh, Ronnie Short here. Um, I'm the owner and director of The Truth About Addiction. Uh, a little bit about my story is I uh, started drinking at a very early age and found that I was a, a bad drunk. I drank to blackout. I drank to oblivion. I never drank for the taste. I drank for the effect only. Um, very early I realised that drinking was a problem. I'd been arrested for drink driving. And I uh, started smoking marijuana and progressed onto heroin and I became a heroin addict. And through that addiction, um, I went to prisons and lived on the streets and became a, uh, a, a very, very sick individual who had no hope and was desperate and destitute. A lot of my using was gutter using. Um, there were times where, you know, I'd make money and, you know, have, have the high life for very, they were very short lived periods. And then what happened to me was, he, I went to a 12 step program in 1977, wasn't for me. I went back to another 12 step program in 1981. Um, I got some things out of that and it was a great thing, but it wasn't really the answer I was looking for. I travelled to India, went to the ashrams in the uh, very early 90s, looking for a spiritual guidance and, you know, all those things were great, but they weren't what stopped me from using, you know, even though I was drug free from 1986 onwards, uh, I was still searching. I searched for many years. I ended up back in prison and I realised that it was a spiritual program, not a physical program. And it wasn't a thinking program, it was a working program. And I started studying the disease of addiction. I started really looking at myself, an honest, thorough, consistent look at myself. And I had to face my demons and realise that if I really wanted to stay clean and I wanted to change my life, I had to change my thinking. And by changing my thinking, first of all, I had to own the fact that I had a thinking problem. Not a drug problem. I haven't had a drug for 35 years. I still have a thinking problem. My thinking can still be not the greatest, even though I don't act out on it anymore. And my times of thinking negatively and badly uh, are very, very few and far between, but I still have them. So I realise that this is an ongoing process of recovery. As I say, I've been in recovery now for 35 and a half years. I've helped a lot of people find recovery. And there's many ways of finding recovery. There's many um, avenues you can go down. We try to tailor what's going to suit you best. And the biggest thing with this company is we are aimed at your anonymity. We know that some people can't go to public and private detox and rehabs. We know that some people can't go to 12 step programs because of their profile in the society as a whole and how people will be judged and ostracized and maybe even lose their jobs or their relationships if they come clean too early and um, have the pro process of relapse and because relapse does happen sometimes. But what we aim for is to give you a safe education about why you use the chemical or whatever you choose to use to change the way you feel. It could be drugs, could be sex, could be gambling. There's many, many ways of trying to change the way we feel and we become obsessive and compulsive in those ways. So, you know, we are really dedicated to this recovery section. We want you to get clean. We want you to have a better way of life. We want you to be the best mother or father or husband or wife or sister or brother or parent that you can be. And through our program, we aim to give you a successful rehabilitation from your addictions. Um, we really are motivated in helping people and we love doing what we do. Thank you for your time.